What's up everybody, Sonny here, back with another My NBA 2K video. King of the Court just ended. Hope everybody did as good as they wanted to. I personally did not make the top 500. Um, as you see, 725, over 4,000 points. I know before this event started, I said I was really going to try to make that top 500, and I did really try, really try. I didn't end up spending any money because, well, um... If you check the leaderboard, you will see that even though I'm only 700 something, I was a good 2,400 points back out of um, out of tier two, top 500. That is a lot of uh, refreshes and hot streaks and a lot of money. I think I think that could have been a good 20 or 30 dollars. I probably would have needed to make up 2,400 points. When I was using uh, the hot streaks that I did have, I had I had over 40 hot streaks going into the last day. Absolutely crazy. But anyway, I didn't even get to use them all. But uh, when I was using the hot streaks at the end, I mean, I was only making up a couple points like each time. Like it would have taken, it would have taken quite a bit. But anyway, it was the first event for the new uh, icon tier. And uh, that Devin Booker obviously props out to all those who got that type of top 500 grind that uh, I'm sure was pretty tough but uh, we're gonna check out all the cards I pulled on the draft board we're gonna look at all of the pull rates and we're gonna look at all of the reward cards and everything when they're all maxed out so if you do enjoy the video don't forget to hit that thumbs up appreciate that but let's get into checking out these cards so this is the very last week at Superstar Plus Plus. Since I did pick up that that uh, reward for this week's event, I will be the icon level. So no more Superstar Plus Plus, which is awesome. Um, hopefully it makes it easier to get superstars and uh, get some more icons. So anyway, let's get into checking out these cards. Man, there were a lot of duplicates this weekend. I don't know what it is. I think they like put in a certain number of cards into the pull rate pool or something. And those are the only cards you can pull because, man, I pulled duplicates of almost every single level except for star and superstar. I mean, I pulled duplicates, multiple duplicates of lots of things. Anyway, Let's start. We got a Tristan Thomas, Dwayne Wade, Epic. Um, again, since there are no ultra rare, everything is taken from Epic and up. Another Epic right there. We got Tim Hardaway Jr., uh, Ricky Rubio, DeAndre Jordan, uh, first elite of the weekend. And then um, an Epic support card. We got another Brook Lopez. This guy pops up like crazy. Another Tristan Thompson, so that's the very first, like I said, duplicate. I mean, I got a lot of these where I'd get one card like a couple boards ago and then the other card right after that. Kyle Kuzma, uh, CJ McCollum, uh, another Elite. This was interesting. I, I don't think I've ever seen this card, the Kyle Kuzma. Um, there was a couple cards that didn't look familiar that I don't remember ever seeing before. Um, Jimmy Butler... Uh, Bogdanovich, uh, Carl Anthony Towns star card. So, very first star poll of the weekend. Cat, um, which is pretty cool. I mean, I'm happy with this because I already have one, so I can pro him up. Uh, Got to get ready for that gauntlet, man. That uh, icon tier is going to be in the gauntlet next weekend. That means you really got to get those star uh, pros. And you got to get those superstar pros if you want to get up there to get those icons. Um, Brogdon, uh, Derek Favors. First superstar poll of the weekend. It is a Willis Reed again. Man, I don't know what it is about duplicates on the draft board. This is my third Willis Reed superstar poll. On the draft board, on the actual draft board. And so, um, yeah, that's the third one. Third one, crazy. I already have one of these proed, and uh, he was the, like, two superstar pulls ago on draft boards was a Willis Reed, and now I got another one. So, anyway, kind of crazy. Jamal Murray, uh, Austin Rivers, another Brooke Lopez, like, another elite, like, duplicates. Kimball Walker elite right after that. Pow, pow, bang. Two elites in a row. Um, another Gallinari epic prime. Jeremy Lamb, another Gallinari epic prime. Like, 
I just don't get it. Like, there's got to be more cards than, than, like, why are we pulling the same stuff? Like, I don't know. Greg Monroe on the Celtics. Like, this is another one. I don't, I don't remember ever seeing this one. Uh, Draymond Green star card. Another star pull. Uh, I have this one foiled. Unfortunately, I don't have the regular one. So, um, and man, the foil rates, like the pull rates on the foils, have just been terrible the last couple weeks. Like absolutely terrible. I haven't been pulling any good cards foiled. Jalen Brown, uh, Jordan Clarkson. This is another one. Like I don't ever remember seeing this. Jordan Clarkson on the Cavs. Like, um, let me know in the comments if y'all are seeing some, some new cards. You know, like players that have been recently traded and stuff. Uh, Jamal Murray again, James Harden, and then another star pull. We got to run our test. Uh, I pulled this one, I don't know, maybe like three or four weeks ago on the draft board. Um, that was the foil version of this card. So unfortunately I can't, I can't pro this one, but I, I like Ron Artest. I used to like him anyway. Um, Paul Millsap, another Austin Rivers, like, like, this is a foil card, and I'm getting duplicates of the foils. Like, that's just how crazy that this is. Um, Wesley Matthews, LaMarcus Aldridge, Andrew Wiggins, and then right after that, John Wall, and then Kevin Love, Kyrie Irving, Dennis Smith Jr., Wayne Ellington, Brogdon again, Michael Beasley foil. The only foils that I pulled all weekend were the um, epics. Seems like every week uh, the, the the pull rates on foils have just been terrible. Uh, Wes Unseld, another star pull. That's really good. Um, really good regular star. Again, I have his foil card. I don't have his regular one, so can't pull it. And right after that, uh, boom, we pull a superstar card. So. That's kind of nice to pull uh, two superstars this weekend. And what's even better about all of this is, is this is the first weekend in like six events that I did not pull a support card. So we broke the streak of like six events in a row with a support card. Bill Walton, um, cool looking card. Again, just the regular one, not the, um, not the foil version. It is a center, which is probably the position I do not want the most. But I uh, can't be picky about a superstar card, so I'll take it. Josh Jackson, another Paul Millsap for like the 19th one. And then Darren Collins, and that's going to do it for all of um, for all the polls on the actual drop board. Then checking out our very first reward, we have the Joel Embiid um, center. Again, I, that's probably the position I do not need the most. But um, still, it's a foil card. I'll take it. I can't be uh, disappointed about that. Even though I am kind of disappointed about how the results turned out, you know, I, it's still a superstar card. So it'll help the deck. Then our overall reward, our top reward, our very first icon of the year. It is going to be the Kyle Lowry, which means that this card is now going to put me into the super or to the icon tier, and that means I get a freebie on the draft board in head to head. So if you want to see what I got, check the description or look at the video. I'm going to post that video a little bit later today, or possibly tomorrow morning, and um, let you see what icon card I pulled on the actual draft board again. These are definitely going to help for the gauntlet that's getting ready to start in a couple days. So that's really cool. So let's check out these pull rates that we got this weekend. We'll compare them to last weekend's reigning threes. Again, this is the very last week of Superstar Plus Plus. Next week, when the gauntlet comes around, all of those pull rates are going to be different. So I would expect to that these percentages be a little bit different for uh for next weekend because i am going to be in the very first or the the icon one or the very first icon um tier but anyway checking these out we got 180 total draft board resets which is the most i've ever had in king of the court like by far um 131 rare 73 percent of the time 22 epics we got 12 epic primes nine elites four stars two superstars so uh, 
Again, like I said, 73% rare, 12% epic, 7 epic prime, 5 elite, 2% star, 1% superstar. So pretty standard, uh, I think. The foils is what's a lot worse, it seems like. The last couple uh, events, the foils have been worse. Um, 16 total foils, 12 foils were rare at 9%, and all other cards, uh, 4 of them at 8%. All 4 of those were epics. Another thing that I noticed, which I think that I'm coming to believe that this is true, th that when you pick on the draft board, it is not random. Like, where the card is and how many times you pick cards on the draft board is not random. Like, I counted 12 total times throughout the entire weekend, 12 times, in which the draft board reset on the very last pick. Like, I made it 24 picks, and then it reset on the very last pick. That's literally like a mathematical impossibility for you to be able to do that 12 times. Like, it even got so – like, it, like I wanted to test this so much. I even, um, I even Google searched a random set generator to make sure that I'm actually picking numbers at random. And I got a set generator to pick 25 numbers at random. And I used those 25 numbers when picking um, the draft board. And I'm telling you, man – 12 times it was like 12 or 13 times it reset on the very last one um that's terrible that's like eight percent of the time like that's impossible like if you like they just but like, like this is crazy to me like so i i really believe they like i think it's like determined before you like on the draft board like it's like it's predetermined okay you're gonna reset it on the 16th pick or you're gonna reset it on the 17th pick or the first pick or the last pick or something like that and there's something that determines what pick you're gonna reset it on and it's not like where it is it's just how many times you got to actually pick if that makes sense anyway compare this to Ray. I know I just rambled on forever but Compare this to reigning threes from last weekend, and you'll see, looking over, man, it's pretty much the exact same. Um, reigning threes from last weekend, we had 70%, 76% rare, 11% epic, 6 epic prime, 3% elite, 2.5% star, 1.5% superstar. So pretty much the exact same. Like I said, the reigning threes from last weekend, considering how many draft boards I picked up, um, was better. In general, I guess overall, because obviously the the star and superstar are a little bit higher percentage. Even though I pulled one more star this weekend, but I had 60 more draft board resets. Um, epics, you know, at this point really do not matter. I'm wondering if I get one when I get to icon tier now that they're going to take off epics and say no more epics that you're going to get. So that would be awesome. Let me know in the comments how y'all are doing with uh, your draft board. What superstar cards did you pull if you were on icon level, man? Did y'all pull an icon uh, card this weekend? I know that I definitely want to get my hands on more, but let's look at the cards when they're all maxed out. All right, so the first one we're going to check out, we got the Ron Artest uh, two-way player, offense, defense. Um, I like that green focus type. Not a, a bad card, not too bad. Um, but again, towards the bottom, as far as how he rates compared to other players, you know, just above Paul Millsap, below Gordon Hayward. We got the Draymond Green defensive anchor. Again, another green focus type. All on the defense. Pretty decent card again. Um, good defensive player. Right below Fat Lever, Kyrie Irving. Above Mark Eaton. And then we got uh, the very last one, finally a card that was better than um, Chris Mullen. I kind of figured Wes Unseld would be better because as far as the foils go, um, he's pretty much up there at the top as well. So that is what he looks like when he is all maxed out. Shot creator, I believe that his uh, other one was triple threat. I could be mistaken. Maybe it is shot creator on his foil. But anyway, shot creator, offense, and rebounding. Really balanced card. I mean, 1285, 1272, 1281, 1272. I mean, that's 
13 point difference from high to low that is super balanced as far as the car goes goes good on absolutely everything um now my best uh, non-foiled card and then we got the Carl Anthony Towns. Uh, like I said, I already had one of these. So this is what he looks like. Proed, maxed out, level 31, shot creator, offense, and rebounding. Um, blue focus type this time, not green. And uh, pretty good card. I mean, pretty solid. Uh, better than all my other superstars, uh, or better than all my star pros, except for Paul Gasol. You know, better than Gordon Hayward, Mike Conley, Dwayne Wade. So... I, I definitely could could use this because um, of the rebounding. I mean, before I had small guards and Mike Conley and uh, Gordon Hayward. None of, none of those guys could rebound. So it was nice to get a star card or a star pro in which I was able to uh, have some pretty decent rebounding. So that's what he looks like. Pretty solid. I like it. First of the superstar pulls, we got Willis Reed with the triple threat, offense, defense, rebounding. I mean, I, I like the card. It's a pretty decent card, but uh, it's just upsetting that it's like the third time I've pulled this card on the draft board. Already have one of them pro but he's pretty good. I mean, pretty solid, better than the majority of all of the superstar uh, regular cards, as you see. You know, he's pretty... Pretty high up there. And then the second card I pulled was the Bill Walton. And both of those are about right next to each other. Pretty close to the same stats. Defense and rebounding. This is another one in which, um, uh, like the Wes Unseld, uh, it's pretty close. Like all of the stats are pretty close together. Um, offense, defense, rebounding is a little bit better. But not too far off from being from playmaking. So still pretty good. And, you know, like third from the best. So both of these cards were pretty solid. Then we got the worst card, um, Superstar Foil. And I'm not necessarily surprised that this is the worst um, Superstar Foil I have. Because this is just a regular Joel Embiid. I mean, to say that he was better than Marcus Camby when he played in the Nuggets, I no way. Like he was not even he's not better than Marcus Camby. So I mean this is just a regular card. So I mean I'm not necessarily I don't think that he should be above any of the other historic players because he's not I mean, he's not worth in a historic status yet, you know. He could be. He could get up there. But uh, I think it's good that he is below Marcus Camby and all the other characters. Fred Brown, even though I don't know who Fred Brown is or what he did. But even like Joe Johnson. I mean, when Joe Johnson on the Hawks, he was scoring, you know, 25, 26 points a game. He was definitely tearing shit up when, when he was on the Hawks. So I, 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 I don't mind that he's the worst, now my worst foil. But that's what he looks like. Uh, but he is triple threat, so that is awesome. Um, offense, defensive, and rebounding. Really good. And then we got the top reward of this weekend. Our very first icon foil. Um, Kyle Lowry, pick and roll passer. Offense and playmaking. Absolutely amazing looking card. Love the red, love the border, love the design, everything about it. Looks really cool. That's what it looks like when it's all maxed out. Definitely a card that uh, I want more of just because they look really cool. Not only are that, are they are absolutely awesome. But um, I don't understand, I guess, the why they're making the, the, the difference between each of the levels now so much. But anyway, um, that's going to do it for all the cards that we pulled on the draft board. That's going to do it for all of actual pick, rate, pick rates. And those are what all the cards look like when they're all maxed out. Let me know in the comments how y'all did. Did y'all uh, pull some good stuff on the draft board? Did y'all get as high as you wanted to get? I know that I figured since I, this is the very first weekend for Icon, I figured that people would be out here grinding. And they definitely didn't disappoint, man. They were out here grinding. Um... I did, I grinded as much as I could until I got to the point in which I would have had to pay money um, to make that extra step, but uh, man, the gap just seemed too much, like it just seemed like it was too much to make up, I think a lot of people really wanted to be the first to get those icons, and I just didn't want to go that at $20, $30, anyway, um, that's going to do it for the video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Let me know in the comments how y'all did. I will check y'all in the next video. I am out. Peace.